truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. I can tell you're grasping, yet I cannot deny the possibility of what you say. Objection. What do you say? Deny it. Deny it. No one involved with the incident was wounded. There were no there was no murderer. Hmm. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of anyone. Hey Nick! Huh? I just thought of something really crazy. Crazy? Remember what Mr. Grossberg said yesterday? Gregory Edward dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow! It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. What if Von Karma didn't take that vacation because of shock, but took it because he was injured? Which would mean... I don't know if Maya just talked, but I hope she did. It could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth. It was Von Karma! Oh, man. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed. Uh, no, Your Honor. Well, you have indicated that possibility that the murderer came from outside. Can you give us the name of your suspect? Uh-oh. Should I come out and say it now? Your Honor? There is a suspect. One lone suspect. Okay, Avenue. Going to get the food. Well, this is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? Ugh, my hands are shaking. The what? Von Karma! Von Karma? You mean THE Von Karma? The prosecutor? Sitting right there? Bah. You... don't object? Hm. I see no need. Why honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection? Because you took a vacation for several months starting the day after the incident. Yet you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident? Fascinating. Prove it. I would have needed surgery, no? Where did I go under the knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated on me. Have him testify. Ugh. Nick! Let's find out who his doctor is. It's no use. Ed Edgeworth? I know, Von Karma. Perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as a witness. Ugh. Nobody's that perfect. So... So what, Nick? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane! No, he couldn't have. You can't just pull bullets out of yourself. Wait... What does that mean? That bullet has to be somewhere, but where? Well, Mr. Wright, can you produce evidence to prove that I was shot? All right, Von Karma, I'll prove it. And I'll even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. What? The evidence that proves Von Karma was shot is... Von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery leaving an evidence trail. So then I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it unlikely that Von Karma performed surgery on himself. You... You don't mean... I do. There is the possibility that the bullet is still inside Von Karma. Is that even possible? For all these years? Well, there's one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well, Von Karma, I'm gonna run this over you and see what we find. I refuse! You refuse? But refusing this means... You acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you? Order! 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 Your Honor, the defense...
Dylan's request that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Judge, I call for a suspension of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. The statute of limitations runs out of it on this case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. Enough! I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we have to give it a shot. Don't worry, Evie. We'll get him. It reacted! Something's inside his right shoulder! The bullet! Mr. Von Karma? You! It was you! I was afraid this would happen, and so I remained silent. Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. But, Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove? I have no obligation to prove anything. It is you who must prove something here, Mr. Wright. Not I. Mr. Wright? Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6? Of course he can't. You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. That's because you took it out of the records room yesterday. With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crimes. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No, I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. W what? You were close. One day away from freedom. You see, I have proof. What? Who would have thought you would have dug your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. And here's my final proof. Th that's... a bullet? Where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the, from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. The bullet is preserved quite nicely, with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings? You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of the weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edward's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. We could analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings matched, we would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol. In other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edward. Sorry, in other words, not other words. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. And solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? <laughs> that scream... I've heard that scream before. <laughs> Are you sure, Edgeworth? <laughs> Are you sure? There, I saved... Even though I have a sore throat, I, I saved it all for that. Wait, I know. I derped on I know, I'm sorry. I know. Help, I can't breathe! Quiet, I said quiet! You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air! I'll... I'll stop you! Stop breathing my air! Get away! Get away from my father! Whoa!
Please stop screaming. <laughs> R.I.P. Vocal Cords! That's it! Chiaki's dead. I died. I'm done. Goodbye. It's that scream I heard in the elevator. Fifteen years ago. Von Karma! It was you who screamed! Mr. Von Karma? <laughs> Only you would dare defy me! So it was you. You and your father are my curse! Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record! I'm gonna kill my voice right now. And you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade! I'll bury you! I'll bury you with my bare hands! Death! Death! Psst. Is your head okay? Fifteen years earlier. Mr. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I... why well, I was careless. I'm sorry, but you'll have to be penalized. Penal. <laughs> why did I emphasize penal? I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Edgeworth! Edgeworth! It was a shock like none I had ever known. I don't know who's talking. Me? Penalized? Oh, I know who it is. It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out in the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button and nothing happened. Then, there was a noise. I was in pain. A horrible burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then it was destiny. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge! What? What are you doing? Do your job! Bring an end to this miserable charade! Now, end it! Very well. I don't know if I'm okay. <laughs> I don't think so. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later. Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yay! Yay! At the cost of Chiaki's voice. That is all. The court is adjourned. Did. Adjourned it. Oh, one second. I know we're almost done, but still. Nick! Nick, we did it! Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Crushed! <clears throat> I gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I was sure we'd had it. I know, I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. So, it's finally over, Edgeworth. 